The truth of the matter is, the birds could very well live without us, but many, perhaps all, of us would find life incomplete, indeed almost intolerable, without the birds. Roger Tory Peterson Away from the highway, the tranquility of the New Amsterdam grasslands is punctuated only by the calls from dozens of bird species that call this surrogate grassland home. Thanks to a generous donation of land value by a private conservation buyer and a nearly $1 million state stewardship fund grant, Mississippi Valley Conservancy was able to purchase a 310-acre grassland and preserve it in its unique habitat forever. People in the Cooley region of southwestern Wisconsin benefit from this purchase through public access to the land and the preservation of a scenic landscape. But the purchase has another beneficiary whose expression of thanks comes in the form of songs. Welcome to the landscape just outside a small, unincorporated community named New Amsterdam, where the gears of land protection began to turn in 1997. Mississippi Valley Conservancy was, at the time, a little-known organization in its infancy. But fortunately, a conservation-minded citizen, an avid bird watcher, asked the MVC Board of Directors if there was a large tract of wildlife habitat that MVC wanted to conserve but didn't have the resources to act on at the time. Craig Thompson, an MVC co-founder and regional land program director with the Wisconsin DNR, knew a piece of land that fit the bill perfectly. I had been driving past this property, this is a, more than a decade ago now, for some time and noticed that it was a big block of grassland and thought there have to be some good things in there that we're just not aware of. So we got permission from the Klein Smiths, the original property owners, to go and take a look at the property. We were really astonished with what we found. We realized at the same time that while well, this property, this Kleinsmith property originally, harbored really great species of birds, that it was under tremendous threat with the construction of Highway 53 and the movement of suburban lacrosse northward uh, toward Galesville. And so a group of concerned citizens came together, uh, all, of the, all of us that were like-minded essentially, and we thought, well gosh, how are we going to protect this wonderful property? With so much wildlife habitat at risk of being destroyed by development, the conservation buyer took action. The 310-acre parcel was obtained in a land swap, taking it off the market until MVC was able to acquire the resources to take ownership of the land. MVC's eventual purchase became possible as a result of the generosity of the conservation buyer, along with nearly $1 million of grant money from the Wisconsin Knowles Nelson Stewardship Fund. The purchase would not have been possible without an additional grant from the Doris Duke Charitable Foundation. Philip Gillette, president of the corporation that acted as conservation buyer to save the land, said, The New Amsterdam grasslands may not have the stature of a majestic bluff, nor the grandeur of the mighty river, but in its own unique way, the subtle beauty of prairie grass and its ability to sustain endangered bird species is an environmentally significant area to preserve and protect. The size of this site is significant to these rare birds that depend upon large expanses of grassland to carry out their nesting. In addition to the important wildlife habitat being protected, New Amsterdam grasslands will provide a great outdoor resource for residents and visitors to the Cooley region. The grasslands are big enough that there are places on the site where you can't see civilization. And when you go out there, you can feel like you're on that great expanse of grasslands that once existed before European settlement. I also want to acknowledge the great job that the DNR staff has done with the stewardship program and the efforts of Mississippi Valley Conservancy, not only on this acquisition, but all for all the great work you do here in Northern Engraving for, for your great work and your partnership with, with all of us here. It's a, it's a piece of property that, um, as, as, uh, as Tim was describing, is an area that um, many of us have hiked and played and, and enjoyed for quite some time, and now we will do it for a generation. Uh, for many generations to come. I am pleased to announce that we are awarding nearly one million dollars to the Mississippi Valley Conservancy from the Stewardship Fund to preserve the last open grasslands remaining on the La Crosse Terrace. This beautiful 300 acre area is a large and rare parcel of prime grassland bird habitat. More than 90 species have been observed on the grasslands including two threatened species and 15 additional species that have been designated as the greatest conservation need by the Wisconsin's Wildlife Action Plan. New Amsterdam grasslands, as it's called by NBC, 
is a high priority for habitat restoration due to its value as a nesting area for rare grassland birds. The grassland provides a home for several species of greatest conservation need, which are species that have low or declining populations. We also protect a variety of bird species at our New Amsterdam grasslands property, including the Henslow sparrow and the Bell's vireo, both of which are state threatened species. There are also a number of species of greatest conservation need at that particular site um, that are associated with grassland, uh, including the bobolink, the eastern and western meadowlark, the dick sissel, grasshopper sparrow, and these species of greatest conservation need, although they're not listed as threatened or endangered, they're listed so that uh, we can catch them in time so that they do not become threatened and endangered, which is important. This focus on species of greatest conservation need arose from a mandate by Congress to every state in the country to develop wildlife action plans. The goal of the Wisconsin plan is simple, to examine the health of wildlife and prescribe actions to preserve wildlife and vital habitat before they become more rare and costly to protect. Wisconsin's approach to the Wildlife Action Plan has six steps. First, identify species of greatest conservation need. The Wisconsin DNR defines species of greatest conservation need as species that are already listed as threatened or endangered, species at risk because of threats to their life history needs or their habitats, species that are stable in number in Wisconsin but declining in adjacent states, or species that are of unknown status in Wisconsin and are suspected to be vulnerable. The second step of the plan is to identify habitats required by species of greatest conservation need. This was accomplished at New Amsterdam grasslands thanks to the efforts of the DNR and local birding enthusiasts. Third, the species distribution within Wisconsin must be identified. Fourth, issues, threats, and conservation actions have to be identified. At New Amsterdam, residential or commercial development imminently threatened the habitat. Step five is to identify priority ecological opportunities. The final step in Wisconsin's Wildlife Action Plan is to develop monitoring plans and opportunities to partner with various organizations. Utilizing this plan, Mississippi Valley Conservancy in the state of Wisconsin, with generous assistance of the Conservation Buyer and the Doris Duke Charitable Foundation, were able to set aside an incredible grassland bird habitat and preserve a home for dozens of species, including several that are considered species of greatest conservation need. Thanks to the foresight and leadership of these conservation leaders, the rare birds of the New Amsterdam grasslands have a voice and a song that will be heard for generations to come.